Hey, this is Michael from Edkin, and today I want to share a tip with you for how you can improve your pour over technique. For the last 10 years, I've trained hundreds of baristas how to make a pour over. This is one of the number one mistakes that I see. Today, I'm gonna to demonstrate hopefully the correct pouring technique. Then I'm gonna show you one of the things that can go wrong. When we start our pour, we usually start in the middle, then we slowly start spiraling out. Now notice that as I rotate the kettle, I'm trying to keep it nice and even. That's because we want all of the grounds to get hit with the same velocity of water. In other words, we want all the grounds to experience the same amount of agitation. Agitation is really important to help evenly saturate all the grounds. We get some of the grounds that are agitated more than the others, then we're going to extract at different rates. So my blooming phase is done now, and now I'm going to start my pour, and I'm going to demonstrate the mistake that I see a lot of baristas making. So a lot of times, as baristas rotate the kettle, they kind of do this up and down thing, so that we're pouring from different heights. To a certain degree, that's inevitable, but if you see what I'm doing now, where the kettle is a lot more level, that's gonna give us more even and consistent agitation throughout the entire brew bed. So get out your kettles, practice, mess up some batches. Coffee's only fun if you're having fun. <laughs>